What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody. This is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay. Making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have KK's Priest. Yes, indeed. How about that? KK's Priest making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor, before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Frank Canini, and Frank Canini wanted to see me react to this. It is KK's Priest with a tune entitled Hellfire Thunderbolt. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second. Yeah, I've heard this song before. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay, so from what I've heard in the comments, uh, KK Downing left Judas Priest, I was aware of that. Um, he left Judas Priest and went and formed this band, KK's Priest. Um, We'll talk about more. We'll, we'll talk far more about that at the end. But uh, yeah, that, that's what happened. I, I'm aware of. I'm aware of what this is and who it is and how this came to be. So you don't need to tell me in the comments how it happened. I, I know how it happened. Uh, we'll talk about the whys and the what I think about it later. I, I promise. Trust me. We're gonna talk about it. Let's see. This was posted by KK's Priest. Shocking. And the video has 1.5 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. KK's Priest, Hellfire Thunderbolt, official music video. Wah, wah, wah. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Yeah, there's that word official coming off of their official page. Yep. Look, you know what I'm gonna say, so I'm not gonna say it. All I'm gonna say is we have to just wait and see what happens and hope for the best. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this.
we are more than likely going to have a guitar solo coming up here. Um, I hate to say it. I really hate to say this, but I had a feeling <laughs> this, this was the direction we were going to go. Uh, you, you look at the title of the song, Hellfire Thunderbolt. And immediately, just looking at the title, I got this riff in my head. Sing it out one time! Now, the riff itself wasn't necessarily accurate. But I, I, I wasn't thinking we were going to be an A. I thought we were going to be an E. But the direction of the song, the tempo, the speed, uh, the approach when it came to the chorus, the separation of words, Hellfire in the first stanza, Thunderbolt in the second stanza. I'm like, I, 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 I predicted all of that. Darling, I'm so darling. It all came to pass. <laughs> um, look. Is it a solid song? Absolutely. It, it, it's a solid song. Absolutely. Uh, it sounds good. It fits the style without question. Um, we'll talk more at length about that later at the end, uh, what I mean by that. But um, if I, I got no complaint. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. I'm just saying it was predictable. I saw a lot of what happened come to pass in my head before I heard it. So, yeah. Uh, but like I said, though, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's it's hitting for par with my expectation, if I'm being honest. So it, it's all good. It's all good. Um, I know KK is in this, obviously. Uh, the vocalist, I believe that is Tim Owens. Uh, Ripper, uh, Ripper Owens, I believe that's him. Uh, the other guitarist, that looks like Richie Faulkner, which is going to bring up some questions later. If that really is Richie Faulkner, uh, how, how, how is he making that work? I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I have no idea who the drummer is. I have no idea who the bass player is. But I'm sure people in the comments will let me know. No, but overall, solid, solid job from everybody so far. Um, let's, let's see what else. I, I'm predicting a guitar solo, like right now so let's see if i'm right about that we may have a little we may have a little bridge beforehand and then we'll go into the guitar solo we'll see nope, solo, right into the solo. on the chord just you don't need to put the hellfire at the end that uh, uh, no that it was pointless it was absolutely pointless um yeah i was not a fan of that <laughs> but everything else was fine um yeah i got a lot to say i got a lot to say um 
I have a lot of questions to ask because I there are a lot of things I'm not 100% sure about, and I'm sure fans of this band will give me some clarity and hopefully provide me with some answers. I just hope they're factual answers and not, you know, what they think happened. I hope they're actual facts that they throw at me. I guess we'll see. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was KK's Priest with Hellfire Thunderbolt. Uh, this was a request from Frank Canini. Just saying the name. <laughs> What's really causing all this? Just saying the name conjures up images and 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 melodic lines and chordal progressions and rhythmic patterns. It just it okay. So <laughs> I said this during the reaction. I had an idea in my head what this song was probably going to sound like, and I would say about 90% of what I had the feeling what the song was going to sound like came to pass. Um, but the, the biggest thing for me that wasn't was that, that we were in A. I, I thought the song was going to be in E. I, I was I was certain we were either going to be in E or F sharp. I didn't know we were going to be in A, so didn't see that coming. But like everything else, the, the chordal progression, uh, the, the feel of the song, the direction of the song, the speed of the song, um, the rhythmic patterns, the separation of Hellfire and Thunderbolt within the phrase. I, I, I saw all of that coming and it all came to pass before I even pushed the play button. Um, it, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. It, it goes in line with a lot of what we're gonna talk about. Let's start with the score first, okay? And then we'll we'll talk about what I thought about the song and then we'll get to all of the questions and opinions and thoughts in at the end. Let's start with the score first. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give that a 7.2. Yep, 7.2. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first, a 7.2. What does that mean? Well, a 7.2 will translate to a really good skill rating. So I think overall, this is it is a really good song. It would get four to five stars in a B letter grade. So there you go, a 7.2, really good skill rating, four to five stars in a B letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay. It's one thing to have a song that's predictable. It's a whole nother thing. Like when you're listening to a song and and you hear, you know, a progression, like, you know, and you transition from like the verse to the pre-chorus. And then when we go into the chorus, you think to yourself, I have a feeling they're gonna do that. And then that happens. That's one thing. That's one thing. But when you're able to figure out what a song is probably gonna sound like before you even hit the play button, just based off of the title, that's not just predictable. <laughs> that's a whole new level of predictability. Here's the thing though. Does that necessarily mean it's bad? No, it, it doesn't mean it's bad at all. It means it. you can see the name of the song and you have an idea of what you're gonna get. And believe me folks, when you're, okay, how about this? Take this and, and, and let's put it into a whole nother perspective. You're going out for dinner. You go to a nice steakhouse, right? You go to a nice steakhouse and you, you see the, the 28 day aged ribeye bone in and you're thinking to yourself, that sounds really good. It looks good on paper. It sounds like it's gonna be amazing. I'm gonna order it and then it comes out to you. And it is exactly as advertised. It is a 28 day, 28 day a dry aged ribeye, you know, bone in, served with exactly how you wanted it, okay? Now, is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing. You got exactly what was on the menu. You, read, you saw what was on the menu, you read it word for word, and, then, and you had this idea in your head of what it's gonna look like. And it came to you and it's exactly, well, okay, maybe not, I mean not exactly, but extremely close. Okay, they threw the they, they, they threw the herb butter on there. Now maybe that wasn't listed on the menu, 
but they threw it on there. Okay, great. A little extra bonus, you know, whatever. It doesn't get any better than this. But you still, you got what was advertised. Same thing here. KK's Priest, Hellfire Thunderbolt. You got a song that came out and sounded exactly as advertised. You like that girl? That's hardcore. Is that bad? No, it's not bad. Yeah, it, you saw it and you could kind of predict where it was gonna go and I did, but that doesn't mean the song is bad. Everybody says when I say the word predictable, that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing, folks, as long as it delivers on the expectation and it absolutely did. Um, the guitar parts, screaming, loved it. Uh, the bass line, right in line, simple. Simple bass lines, not moving all over the place. Very set on the root notes. I got no issue with that. Ian Hill has made a living off of doing that, and uh, th this bass player followed suit. The only difference was that there were times where he was playing you know, the, those 16th note patterns. I don't think I've ever heard Ian do that. But, uh, you know, those straight 16th notes, man, he, he, he absolutely nailed them. Nailed them. One note, yes, I know, one note, but one note playing a 16th note pattern steady, so steady that you can set your watch to it. I got no problem with that whatsoever. It fit what was happening within the context of the song because guitar players were doing the same thing and the drummer had a nice steady pattern going along with it. So I had no issue with it. Could he have done eighth notes? Yeah, sure he could have, but I mean, 16 notes works too. As long as it's steady, I got no issue with it. Um, I did a reaction not too long ago, earlier this month, I believe, uh, to, was it, was it earlier this month or was it last month? No, actually, I didn't think about it. I think it was last month. I think it was September. I did a reaction to uh, Roadrunner United. Uh, it was a all-star group and uh, the lead singer was Tim Owens. Now, I was told in the comments that he is the lead vocalist for KK's Priest. So having him on the vocals, not surprising whatsoever. Hearing what he did, not surprising whatsoever. I've heard I heard what he did with uh, Curse of the Pharaoh. I'm, I know he's got a range and his range was shown even more in this song. He, he, got, he got an even larger, wider range in this song than he did in that song. Um, now, granted, this is a studio recording, granted, uh, and there's a lot more that can happen within studio, a lot more control, as opposed to a one-shot, you know, you, you get one chance for this live performance, go. Um, so there was a lot of that happening within this song, a lot of great range, some great projection. Um, I am curious, he's the lead singer of this group, and he was shown in the video, but why was he not on the stage with the rest of the band members. Why was there that separation? That I can't explain and that I have no idea about. And this is one of the things I would like to ask the KK Priest fans, um, what's up with that? Why didn't he appear on stage with everybody else? Everybody else was on stage. The other four members were on stage all together. Where was Tim? You know, where, where was where was Mr. Ripper? Uh, I, I don't know. I have no idea why he wasn't on stage with the band. They showed him in the video, but not on stage. That's really odd to me. Um, I'm not saying this is the case. I'm not saying this is, I'm not making any accusations. I'm just saying from a first time watcher and a first time listener, it kind of gives off prima donna vibes. Like he's not, he's, he's too good to appear with the band, or maybe the band thinks they're too good to appear with him. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's the, I, I, I doubt that's the case. I doubt it, but it could be perceived that way. So I'm, I'm curious and I'm asking the, key, the the KK Priest fans, what's the deal there? Why did that happen that way? I, I don't know. Um, I'm hoping that KK Priest fans will let me know because I am genuinely curious to know why that happened. Um. The song had a great pace, great energy, great drive. Um, it was simplistic in its ex in its execution, in, in the chordal progression, very simplistic, but they, they did a great job playing it. So that's how we're coming up with the really good range. It, it, they took something that was very simple and they did a great job doing it. So it equates out to a really good. Um, Guitar solo sounded nice, about what I was expecting. That's kind of the direction I had in my head. Um, 
Now, overall, like like I said, I, I got no issue with the songs as a whole, or, or with the song as a whole. It, 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 I had the expectation in my head, and like I said, 90% of it was, was met. Um, so they, they did a fine job, and I got no problem giving them that 7.2. It's a really good score, so I, I got no issue with it. Um, I do have questions. I've heard stories. And now listen, every story has two sides, okay? And, uh, well, actually, if you really want to be honest here, every story has three sides. There's, there's, there's this side, there's this side, and then there's what actually happened, which is the actual truth. So there's actually three sides. This is the story that I've got. And I, I could be completely wrong, but like I said, this is the story that I've been told. So I know Tim Owens was the lead singer for Judas Priest for a while. I think there was two albums put out with him on it. I haven't heard anything from any of those albums before. I have no idea. But uh, he got fired when uh, Rob Halford wanted his spot back. And everybody was cool with that. Even Tim Owens was cool with it. He understood. He got it. He's like, uh, he never, from what I understand, he always knew he was the substitute. He knew there would be a time Rob would want to come back. So he knew he was on borrowed time. And he was, when he was let go, from what I heard, it was done respectfully. Uh, they didn't just, you know, kick him to the curb with no warning. Uh, they, they, they wished him well in his future endeavors. Everybody was cool with it, except KK. From what I heard, when when he was dismissed, KK wasn't 100% thrilled with that for two reasons. One, he, from what I understand, again, this is all based on what I've been told. Uh, from what I understand, when Rob left, KK took it very personally. Like he was, he was upset that Rob would just leave and abandon them for whatever reason. Um, and then when Rob came back, he he was like, "Well, we just got." You know ripper in and now we're going in a good direction this is this is the second half of why he was upset with ripper in the band juice priest started to take a little bit of a different direction and kk was really liking the direction it was going and then rob comes back and the next album they put out i don't know the name of it uh but the next album they put out went back to like the old priest style and kk kind of had the air taken out of his sails a little bit now again this is all based on what i've heard okay as Judas Priest has continued to put out albums that have sounded very similar in style, he has been getting more and more disingenuine with being in Judas Priest, continuing the direction. It, I, I see that point. When you when you take when you have a band that goes along in a certain way, and then all of a sudden someone leaves, someone else comes in, and we start to go on a little bit of a different direction, and you like the direction it's going. You really like it. You like this new this new feel, this new sound, this new approach. And then all of a sudden we go back to doing it the old way. It's frustrating. I've been there. I've been in that position. Now granted it was the same people. I mean, no one, no one left, no one got replaced, but we started going in a little heavier direction. I was like, I'm liking this. And all of a sudden we go right back to the way it was, you know, the, the previous album before. And it's like, wait a minute, wh wh then why did we waste our time going this way? It can be very disheartening. It, it can be, and it makes you, it makes you start to question everything, including why am I in this band? You know, if if we're gonna go back to the way we were doing things when we were starting to go in a new direction, that was really enjoying them. Why am I still here? You know, uh, trust me, I've been there, done that. So I understand his frustration. I absolutely do. And from what I hear, now this is this is again a point of conjecture where we have this side of the story, this side of the story, and then we have the actual truth. I've heard people say he left. I've heard people say he was fired. I'm not sure which one it is, but for some reason, KK was no longer in Judas Priest. Uh, and the reason for his departure is even different. Some people say that he didn't like the direction the band was going. Some people say he he didn't want to play you know live anymore. I, I don't believe that one for one second. You wouldn't go and form a new band if you didn't want to play live, you know? Uh, I don't believe that for one second. Uh, some people were saying that he had, you know, personal issues with certain members of the band. Maybe, I don't know. I, I, and again, this is where I need your help filling in the gaps, guys. What was his real reason for leaving or what was the, re what was the real reason for him being fired? Again, 
different people, different sides of the coin. I, I don't know who to believe. So seriously, if you folks can let me know, <laughs> I would really appreciate it. I just think it's funny. And this is how I'm gonna close. I just think it's really funny though. Whether he was fired or he left of his own accord, whatever the case may be, he went and formed a band called KK's Priest. And you just, you can't help but notice the similarity. Instead of Judas, it's KK's. Now, is he doing that as a, an aggressive, you know, side hand, you know, uh, backhanded, you know, slap in the face to, to Judas Priest? And, well, I, I didn't like where Judas Priest was going, so I'm gonna go form my own band, and we're gonna call it KK Priest, and we're gonna show you how it's supposed to be done. It could be that. It, I, now, here's the thing. I would like to imagine that, that KK Downing is not that petty. I would really like to believe that. I can't imagine that he would actually do that. Maybe not, Maybe he's doing it to pay homage to Judas Priest. That, that's very possible. Again, I've heard both sides of the story. Some people say he's doing it as a backhanded slap in the face. Other people are saying that he's paying homage. I don't know. Again, I'd like it if KK fans would, or KK Priest fans would let me know which one it is because I would like clarification. I would like someone to put things out there that are factual. Now listen, if you're just gonna tell me your opinions, you know, well, I think it's because of the guys don't do that. Don't, you're just gonna confuse me further, okay? I need people who know what happened for a fact to come in the comments and tell me how everything went down. I would really appreciate facts, not conjecture. I got enough conjecture when it comes to this subject. So please give me facts so I can I can I can you know internalize it and I can say for certain in the future that this is what happened. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, the song, I, I dug it, it felt good, it had nice energy, um, nice drive. Like I said, predictable, yes, but just because it's predictable doesn't mean it's bad, okay? Uh, so 7.2, it's a really good song. I feel good with that score, and that's where we're gonna stay. So let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow, shall we? We got a 7.2, which is a really good skill rating, four to five stars, and a B letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys wanna like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys wanna ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.